point, how can it be point of order? Can you create a disorder and you want to ask a point of order? Nothing shall go on record other than the Prime Minister. I am 
am I am responding to the notices given by you. Please go to your seat. I am I am responding to the notices given by you. Please go to your seat. Please please go to your seat. Yeah. Please, please go to your seat. I am responding to the notice given by you. You don't want you don't want the response. You don't want to hear about 267. 267. 267. Please go to your, go to your seat. Please go to your seat. Nothing is going to nothing is going to be reported because except you will be spiring your throat. I am just responding. Honorable members, on the very first day of this monsoon session, the Secretary has received as many as 17 notices for suspension of rules under 267. Members from different, different, 10 different parties have given these notices on a range of issues. Members belonging to the same parties have given these notices on different issues. This suggests that there is no single view on the urgency of the issues and need to take up suspend of the rules. Only one of the, I know the rule position. One, first, first, you ask your people to come to their seats, respect to seats. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not the fair. This suggests that there is no single view. The, only one of the 17 notices to the situation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. On careful consideration, I found that the issues raised are not of sudden occurrence warranting immediate discussion in the House today itself. While I appreciate the concerns of the honorable members, the notices given by various members, they are on wide-ranging issues. Some of them are definitely important, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly they are important. What is the procedure? You cannot, you cannot, you cannot discuss 17, 17 issues simultaneously. There has to be a procedure. Try to understand this. So yesterday, all parties... Well, let me go across to our senior editor, Madhav Das Gopalakrishnan, who is joining us from outside the parliament. Madhav, yet again, the same script of Lok Sabha now being played out in the Rajya Sabha. So much of interruptions over a myriad of reasons by the opposition, some of them even storming into the well, forcing an adjournment in the upper house too. Well, absolutely. And Meghna, what is very significant is that all of this disruption is happening not during the business of the House, but during proceedings which are not for any one side. It's the normal practice that when there's expansion, that the ministers are introduced by the Prime Minister's House, that obituary references, for instance, are uh, there for all the de deceased members who are former members of the, the, the particular House the, on the first day of uh, any session. This is a very, very routine and very normal practice. So clearly, the Speaker also, we saw a short while earlier, telling the opposition members who protesting that the whole country is watching that this, they should not indulge in such kind of behavior and eventually they did settle down when the speaker said that. But the Prime Minister making a very important point and we've seen even top ministers in the government coming out and putting out tweets uh, saying that there are ministers from uh, different sections including uh, women, uh, sch scheduled castes as well as scheduled tribes have got adequate representation in the ministry. Perhaps this is why the opposition is raising objection because they do not like this. So a very clear war of words between the government and the opposition. The Prime Minister himself making this uh, statement inside the Lok Sabha and repeating those words inside the Raj Sabha as well. He was introducing the ministers but due, due to the kind of disruption that we saw inside the House, clearly that introduction was a very brief one and uh, the scenes that we saw inside the Lok Sabha at around 11.15 uh, once again being repeated now in the Raj Sabha. But mother, it's surprising because the Prime Minister himself as well as several of the Cabinet Ministers came out and said that we want to debate. We know that there are a lot of questions that the public want to know, that the MPs want to raise. Let's come and discuss it. Why is the opposition not ready to discuss when they said that's all they want? Answers from the government which it's ready to give. Well, there are myriad reasons for that, actually, Meghna. The Shiromani, Akali Dal and the DSP are protesting on the issue of the farm laws. We have seen other opposition parties which are raising up uh, different issues from different parts of the country. There are those who are raising the issue of uh, Pegasus as well. So there are several issues that are being raised by different opposition parties. The question is this, that uh, at a time like this, when, as you rightly said it, the Prime Minister has said that there can be a debate on Corona. He has said that he has reached out to the leaders of different political parties, that whatever issues they may have, 
and whatever needs to be done whether there are any shortcomings that can also be discussed and it can be improved so the whole world and india as a part of the world can battle corona virus we need to take everybody along is the message that is coming from the prime minister but uh, the larger question is despite that assurance coming from the pm really whether these disruptions were wanted is certainly a question that would come to the mind We'll keep trying the developments on that front, Mother. We'll keep coming back to you and see whether there is any kind of legislative work which finally happens in the parliament after it reconvenes for the monsoon session. After all, the country is still facing a pandemic and it's important for our parliamentarians to come together to chart a blueprint for the roadmap ahead. Thank you so much, Mother. We'll keep coming back to you. With that, a short break.